Welcome to Episode 70 of Southern Gospel Now, your weekly look at what's going on in Southern Gospel music. I'm Greg Goodman. Southern Gospel Now is brought to you by SouthernGospelPrizes.com, where currently you can register for the Southbound Prize Pack that includes their DVD live from the Franklin Theater and the vinyl of their self-titled project. All the details are at SouthernGospelPrizes.com. We begin our report this week with changes for the Kingsman Quartet. Chris Bryant of the group announced recently that after four years with the legendary quartet, he was leaving the group. Chris says, quote, As times and seasons of life change, so do goals, dreams, and priorities. For now, mine are to enjoy this time with my family, to get involved and fed by a local church, and to use everything I've learned to prepare me for the next chapter God has for me, end quote. Our best to Chris as he makes this transition. The International Bluegrass Music Association, or IBMA, announced the nominees for the 33rd Annual IBMA Bluegrass Music Awards. Among the categories, Gospel Recording of the Year. The nominees include A Little More Faith in Jesus, Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver, He's Getting Me Ready, Darren and Brooke Aldrich with the Oak Ridge Boys, In the End, Dell and Bradley, and The Sweet By and By. Dolly Parton with Carl Jackson, Larry Cordell, Bradley Walker, and Jerry Sally. See you on the other side. Rick Ferris featuring Sam Bush. And Traveling the Highway Home, The Graskels. The complete list of nominees for the 33rd Annual IBMA Bluegrass Awards is available at ibma.org. Lots of Southern Gospel events and festivals take place each year. One of the big ones of the summer season is always the James D. Vaughn Quartet Festival, which takes place in the birthplace of Southern Gospel music, Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. It took place July 27th through the 30th. Josh Franks gives us a little history lesson on the father of Southern Gospel music, James D. Vaughn. Of course, Mr. Vaughn is known as the father of Southern Gospel music. Mr. Vaughn was an American music teacher, a composer. Uh, he published songbooks. Of course, he had the Vaughn Publishing Company. Mr. Vaughn was the, actually the first to establish what we know of as the professional quartets, put them on the road, and they were selling the Vaughn songbooks. We have our James D. Vaughn Festival and celebrating the life, the legacy, the heritage, the history of Mr. Vaughn here in Larchburg, Tennessee. So uh, here we are all these years later, and uh, we're still carrying on great gospel quartet. And so uh, it's going to be a very special time. Kim Hopper's latest radio single is I Don't Want to Get Adjusted. Kim explains that John Darren Rousey, who produced the project, Softly and Tenderly, is responsible for this one. John Darren brought this to me and reminded me of this song and what a great message. And I fell in love with it, of course, um, as I listened and actually read the words to see what it had to say. And um, anyway, he hooked me up with this song and it became one of my favorite things on the whole CD. It's a lot of fun, but it has a wonderful message. Jeff and Sherry Easter's latest single is Sweet Hellos. Sherry tells is where the idea for this song originated. I'll never forget my sweet friend, Kenna West, calling me about a year after my mom had passed away. And she said, I have an idea for a song that I think we need to write about your mama. And she explained the title, Sweet Hellos, and how we would trade all of the tears, the grief, the loss for those sweet hellos. The latest song for the Lefebvre Quartet is All the Praise. Jordan Lefebvre is featured on the song, and here he talks about the lyrics of All the Praise. It basically talks about only one spoke countless stars ablaze. There at the beginning of the Bible. It talks about, in the second verse, it talks about Jesus dying on the cross and saving us. And then ultimately, the song winds up about him coming back for his chosen people. If you're a fan of the new Joseph Habedank song, Child of the King, you might be surprised to hear that this tune almost never saw the light of day. Joseph explains. Child of the King was actually written for the Deeper Oceans album, my last record. And uh, when it came down to the final list, for whatever reason, it did not make it. And then when it came time to select songs for Changes Coming, we automatically started remembering how much we loved 
Child of the King. The latest song for The Sound is God is Real. Levi Mills of the group says the evidence of God's existence in part lies in all the changed lives. When you look around, I mean, and you see people whose lives have been changed. I mean changed. Where they were one person and now they are somebody completely different. And trust me, we know and I'm sure there's a lot of, I'm sure you listening right now can think of somebody who met Jesus and is a completely different person than who they were. Yeah. I mean, that is, that's God at work in somebody. New music just dropped from the Neelands. We thought we'd give you a sneak peek of Scars in Heaven. And all the old will be made new And the thought that makes me smile Scars in heaven are on the hands that hold you now. The Neelands there with their brand new tune, Scars in Heaven. We turn our attention to the Singing News Power 50 Weekly Chart. The number one song for the third week in a row is Enough For Me from Legacy 5. Congrats to the guys on holding on to the top spot. Well, that's it for this week. Hope you'll come back next week for more from your favorite Southern Gospel artist. If you missed episodes of Southern Gospel Now along the way, you can go back and listen to earlier episodes wherever you find podcasts or at southerngospelnow.com. Southern Gospel Now is made possible by southerngospelprizes.com. I'm Greg Goodman. Be sure to love your neighbor, and I'll see you next week for another edition of Southern Gospel Now.